Hello, hello. And what's up? Yep. It's been a, it's been a minute since I've did an update, a vinyl update. So, I got some um acquisitions here to show y'all and um I set this uh caffeinated beverage aside. Uh start off here I got a couple books. Uh I don't think I showed these books before. I mean I have an old channel. If you want to look up my old channel it's just B Young. The letter B and Young. I have quite a few videos on there. Um, anyway, I don't know if I showed these or not on one of my videos, but I'll go ahead and show them again. This one's called Vinyl Junkies. I'm sure if, uh, if you're uh, collecting records and have a significant amount or been collecting for a while, you've probably seen this book or probably had this book. Um, it's done by Brett Milano, and it's it's really humorous. And... People that are collectors can really relate to it. And um, it's really interesting. If you see it out somewhere, pick it up if you don't already have it. And um, this one here is really interesting as well. This is bubblegum music. It's The Naked Truth. And it's uh, the dark history of prepubescent pop from the banana splits to Britney Spears. And everything in between. And this one, uh, you know, it has a little bit of everybody in here. Uh, there's a lot of artists in here that I'm not real familiar with. Uh, like here's the here's the Bugaloos from uh, Sid and Marty Croft, um, which I think they're behind me here somewhere. All right here, Sid and Marty Croft. That's Sigmund the Sea Monster. Um, they have, uh, let's see, Casablanca story is in here, the Partridge family, um, H.R. Puffin stuff, I'm trying to name some other, some of the Ohio Express, um, Surf Link, I'd like to find some of these records, these would be really cool to find. But the, the option is to find them at a decent price. That's actually that's not an option. It probably you'd have to pay uh, pay out the wazoo to get them. So anyway, has the Sugar Bears, the Bay City Rollers. So if you see this out somewhere used, you can pick it up. It's really a good book. Really interesting. Goes into a lot of detail about one hit wonders and uh, the like. So, on to the vinyl. I got a sort of a good stack here. These are ones that I'd picked up in the past. Uh, I think I got the majority of these at one trip to Goodwill. And then I got a package from Dave and Jenny. Um, some records that they were um, sifting through and uh, decided to send us. So, I'll start off with the ones I got at the... At the, at the Goodwill, uh, this is Santa Esmeralda, another cha-cha. Let me put it over here so I can see what I'm doing. I've been picking up uh, quite a few of these. I don't know how many this group has actually done, but I think this is probably the maybe the fifth one that I picked up. And it's on Casablanca, so that's it's going to be disco, which is fine. I love disco. This is Santa Esmeralda 2. The House of the Rising Sun. It's two. I don't know if that means it's the second album or if it's the second incarnation of the band. Um, but either way, I love their covers. I love their logo. Uh, this one, I actually have this on... Uh, I think I have it on CD. But I have all this stuff on my iPod. I know it's not Christmas, but it's Twisted Christmas. I couldn't believe I found this at Goodwill. Uh, if you're not familiar with Bob Rivers' Twisted Christmas, um, it's just basically that. It's um, traditional Christmas songs with different lyrics. 
Uh, then they also have style parodies of Christmas songs. You know, that'd be it'd sound like um, "Going Up the Country" by Canned Heat, but it's a Christmas song. Or um, the one you might have heard is "I Am Santa Claus." It's like the Iron Man parody, but it's Santa Claus lyrics. So anyway, that was really exciting to find that. Don't take much to excite me, does it? This one is uh, one I'd never seen before, and I have quite a few of theirs. The Ventures, Walk Don't Run, which you know that was uh, like their one. Well, I can't say that's their one hit. They probably had more than one hit, but that was that's the one that I. You know, that's the, probably the first one. I'm not real sure. This record's you know it's been played, but considering it's the Ventures and it's one I'd never seen. I love instrumental music, especially from the 60s and, uh, well, any instrumental music. But And this one I'd never seen either. This is Head East Live. Um, Head East had a couple hits in the 70s. They still play them on classic rock radio. This is a double album. And I hope, I'd never seen this one before either. I didn't know they did a live album, although I think everybody has done live albums. I've said that before. Um, uh, Never Been Any Reason is the song you're probably familiar with, and I know there's an, another one or two that they play. I don't recognize them by the title here. Um, but anyway, um, if you're familiar with uh, the Christian rock band Petra, uh, Jeff Schlitt was in this band before he left and joined Petra. Um, I don't even know if it has... Yeah, there's a picture of him here at the bottom. You can see that right there. That's Jeff Schlitt right there. Went on to be with Petra. So, it's, you know, I haven't listened to that one yet, but I know I like their music already. Uh, this one's cool. I bought it strictly for the cover. Uh, it's called Rock and Roll, and it's a various artists record. You got a major glare going on here. I have to take that sticker off. It's in a bad spot. Um, but this is just, it has the ink spots on here. Uh, Vincent Lopez and his orchestra, plus the Rhythm Rockets, the Light Brigade, which is Enoch Light. Uh, so yeah, it has uh, Don't Be Cruel, Stranded in the Jungle, Honky Tonk, Hound Dog, Rock and Roll Rag, Rip It Up. Rock Around the Clock, and it has one of these, you can tell it's an old record because it has one of these real crispy uh, inner sleeves here, if I can get a hold of it. It's like really, really crispy. I'm assuming this is probably from the 50s by the looks of it. So, you know, like I said, bought it strictly for the cover, and I'll listen to it. I'm sure I'll like it, you know, because... Has a lot of cool ones here on the back too. Even the record that I'm holding is on the back. That's funny. So anyway, uh, then I got this one too. I've never seen. Floyd Kramer plays the Monkees. Uh, it's got um, "I'm a Believer," of course. Uh, theme from the Monkees. I'm not your stepping stone. Last train to Clarksville. Can't wait to listen to that. I love. Floyd Kramer's music, it, he has a distinct piano style that, um, you know, is really copied by some people, and really, I'm sure some people, I mean, I wish I could play like that, but. This next batch of records here came from Dave and Jenny. Uh, this is Synergy with Games. I'm not familiar with this band. Um, I'm assuming it's like New Age, maybe, ambient. It's an awesome cover, front and back. So, yeah, I'll be listening to that. If I can get it back into the sleeve. There we are. Uh, and this one is really cool. Andy Summers and Robert Fripp. Uh, Andy Summers obviously played with the police. Robert Fripp used to be with King Crimson, I believe it was. Um, was it King Crimson or Roxy Music? I think it was King Crimson. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that'll be a good lesson, of course. Uh, this one, basically, I love it because the cover is so awesome. You don't have to be very big at all. Flow Price with Jim Grant. Uh, the artwork on these kids' records are 
I mean, they don't get any better. Songs and Stories for Children. This is on Word Record. It's a, a, a Christian record. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, this is one called Yiddish Love Songs by Anna Line. Anna Lynn, I guess. It's in Yiddish, so I can't wait to listen to that. I think I only have one other Yiddish record. Pretty sure. So, yeah, this one came from The Great Escape down there in uh, Nashville. I've been to that place, and it's a it's a really good record store. Um, this one, The Hot House Flowers. I didn't have anything from them. Uh, I think this might be the only one I've ever seen. And this one came from... Let me take this leave out here. This one came from McKay's, which is also down there in Nashville, uh, where Dave and Jenny live, or around the area they live. Um, in McKay's, the, I don't know how many locations there is, maybe two or three. We went there, and, and I didn't, and I mentioned this in my when we came back from vacation or our weekend in Nashville. We didn't have enough time to go through everything. It's just overwhelming. I mean, we went through pretty much the records, um, skimmed the CDs, and then uh, uh, I looked at a couple sections in the DVDs there. And there's so much stuff there, I've got to go back. Um, this one also came from there. Uh, George Baker Selection, a Paloma Blanca. The cover alone is great. And the back cover is even greater. I mean, it's I don't care what it sounds like. You know, for a dollar ninety five is what Jenny paid for it. And, you know, this is not even the right sleeve. And that's awesome. So I mean <laughs> I've said it before. Records like this How could you not want that? How could you not want it? Speaking of how could you not want it, I'm going to have to take a drink before I show you this next one. Okay. Years ago, back in the 90s, I was into mainly, look, I have a lump in my head. Uh, I was into mainly like easy listening, lounge music, exotica, Cool and Strange, you know, all of that is what I was into. Uh, I'm still into all that, by the way. Um, uh, so that's the majority of what I was listening to. There was a, a, a chain of music stores up here in this area. I don't know where exactly what states they were in, but anyway, they were called Media Play. Uh, and there was one here in Columbus that I used to go to. So sad that it's not around anymore. I bought so much stuff there, CDs and stuff. Um, don't get me started on record stores. It's not around anymore. But um, I bought two books there. I really should have got them out for this video. I didn't even think about it. I need to prepare for these videos. I'll show them in the next video, I promise. Um, if I don't forget. Uh, anyway, I bought these two books. Um, they're called In Incredibly Strange Music, Volume 1 and 2. They also came with CD. Well, they didn't come with CDs, but they have CD versions of of the books. I think I have one of those. So anyway, it uh, basically profiles artists uh, or collectors or, you know, different uh, people in different fields that are into music and or record collecting. And it had a, a pretty good spread in there on Jello Biafra, you know, the dude from Dead Kennedys. Um, excuse me. And he was showing some of his records and everything. And, uh, all of the records in that book is like, oh, I've never seen that. I gotta have it. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. That's crazy. And there's also a um, thing on YouTube on the Fuse channel that they have a thing called D Diggers, Crate Diggers, I think. Uh, and different people that collect records are on there. And Jello Biafra was did a, a segment on that, an episode. And he also showed one of these, he showed this record, and it was also in his book, that in that book that I was talking about. Um, I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would ever have this record. 
I found it on Discogs, and it showed up in the mail like a few days ago. And I'm excited. It's Heino Liebe Mutter. I think that's how you say it. This is one of the records that this is a holy grail. Um, it's just unbelievable that I'm holding this in my hand. Um, Heino is a German artist, and very German, I might say. And um, the music's just great. It's just, I, I love it. I listen to this record, and at times, it sort of reminds me of Christmas music. Uh, I don't know why, and it's all in German, for the most part. I mean, he does Ave Maria on here, so that's, that's in English for the most part. Well, I guess Ave Maria is not English to begin with, but what do I know? So anyway, this album came out in the 60s, and it's an import. It's a German import, of course, because... They probably never made them any other way. Um, and I posted these pictures of this album on my Instagram. And uh, Hino, the official Hino Instagram, liked my pictures of this record. So that's pretty exciting, too. Um, like I said, this is a holy grail. Never thought I'd own it. Never thought I'd have it, hold it. Listen to it. Smell it. So there's my um, grand finale. That's that's the best I can do. You know, I showed a unholy grail in my metal update. And now I found a holy grail. So, I got heaven and I got hell. You know, there's still a whole bunch of records though that I still want. That doesn't complete my collection by any means. Um, there's no such thing. You know, someone had a thread about that a while back. You know, when when is too much? <laughs> I'm looking around me, and this this room is too much. But it's still, you know, I could fill up another room very easily if I had if I had the space and the money and the time and all that. Um, it seems sort of goofy to do that, but in 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 another way, it seems necessary. Anyway, you uh, collectors out there know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to sign off on this video. It's running a little long because I'm flapping my gums because that's what I'm good at. If you like it, let me know. Leave me some comments. And thanks for all my subscribers. I've noticed I'm getting up there pretty close to 200 subscribers. I'm at 180 something. So thank you very much for subscribing and watching my videos. I hope you enjoy some of the shenanigans that I do here. So we'll see you in the next video. Ata ta, -ta.